okay we are going to continue uh, the chapter number three and four uh, chapter number three uh, physical layer so we were discussing physical layer so the physical layer these are uh, disk uh, uh, the physical layer topic it is discussed from the data communication and networking fourth edition book by Faroza so we are going to discuss uh, we are going to uh, continue chapter number three okay so in last class we had discussed uh, chapter number six uh, from the top-down uh, approach and uh, we had discussed VLAN motivations we discussed VLANs MPLS data center networking and now we are going to discuss and then we have discussed the physical layer from the frozen book so we discuss bits signal digital and analog data and digital and analog signals okay and their representation okay so in today's class we are going to continue uh, chapter number three from frozen book okay and uh, we are going to continue physical layer and particularly we will discuss transmission uh, impairments and then we will like to uh, discuss chapter number four from frozen book and we are going to discuss digital data to digital signal conversion and if we could find the time then we would like to discuss wireless networks okay so let's uh, continue chapter number three data and signals so when a signal it travels through transmission media okay which are not perfect okay the channels are the medium they are not perfect because when the signal moves through the medium then the signal is uh, uh, experience certain phenomena okay and uh, the signal it may get uh, uh, for example the signal may get uh, the signal attenuation or its intensity may be reduced or its frequency is changed whatsoever so okay so the signal the media they are not perfect so the imperfection causes signal impairment signal impairments so this means that the signal at the beginning of the medium is not the same as the signal at the end of the medium so when the signal is moved from one end of the medium to the another so the signal when it is transmitted so on the way the signal change the signal gets changed so at the receiver we may get a signal that was not the original one that is sent so this is called when the signal is received when the signal change during the way during the its travel during its propagation on the link then this is called impairment okay so uh, the imperfection causes signal impairment this is this means that the signal at the beginning of the medium is not the same as the signal at the end of the medium to so mean that when the signal propagates through the medium so the signal change okay so this change is called impairment this change is called impairment and we will discuss that what are the how the signal change so the signal can change so what is sent uh, is not what is received that means when the signal is transmitted over the over the medium then it change then it, when it change so it means that what is sent is not what is received that it means the signal received at the, at the receiver may not be the one that was sent by the sender okay so what kind three causes of impairments okay the signal can change in three ways we will call it attenuation distortion and noise okay so let's discuss these things that what does attenuation means what does distortion mean and what does noise mean so the transmission impairment what does it mean the transmission the transmission impairment means that when the signal travels through the medium then it changes okay and why it is changed and how it is changed we will discuss it okay these are three types one is called attenuation one is called distortion one is called noise okay so the impairment causes they can be 
classified into three categories attenuation distortion and noise so let's discuss each one in turn attenuation means loss of energy or weaker signal attenuation means loss of energy weaker signal when the signal when the when a signal travels through a medium it loses energy overcoming the resistance of the medium because the medium is having resistance so when the signal moves so then it loses some energy to overcome the resistance so it means that the signal energy is lost so you can see that when the when a signal moves through a medium so some part of energy is changed into mechanical energy some kind of is changed into heat energy so when the signal so the signal energy it doesn't remain same from sender to receiver okay so when the sender sends a, uh, a signal with the energy for example 100 decibel so when it moves through the medium so at the receiver it may have the energy up to 60 decibel so it means that 40 decibel energy is lost or why it is lost because the medium has the resistance so the signal when it travels through the medium then the signal some part of energy it is uh, it is used to overcome the resistance so we will we use amplifier uh, the amplifier is used to reboost the signal okay so the uh, the amplifier is a, a device that is used to reboot the energy to reboost the energy of of the signal so the amplifiers are used to compensate for this loss of energy by amplifying the signal so let us discuss it through an example so suppose that uh, we are going to discuss uh, let's uh, we will discuss this energy uh, attenuation model so let's me discuss through an example for example this is the one point of the link okay here this signal is transmitted so you can see the its energy its or its amplitude this is its amplitude so when this signal moves through the medium then the medium has resistance okay so some part of this in this signal energy it is used to overcome the resistance so when it moves so at this point the signal level is reduced its intensity level is reduced so it means that this signal power it is reduced to this power okay so how much power is lost for example this is p1 and this is p2 so p1 minus p2 it is the loss p p1 minus p2 for example this is 100 decibel and this is 60 decibel so it means that how much is lost 100 minus 60 40 decibel is lost okay so when a receiver receives the signal so receiver also have its threshold for example if a person how uh, hears a sound so some people they can hear low sound some people can hear higher sound okay so similarly a receiver also can he have a threshold value that how much uh, a, a signal can be detected by a receiver how much power how much energy uh, 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 a signal of how much energy uh, is can be detected so there is a minimum threshold so suppose this this amplitude this energy level it is below the threshold level of the receiver then this signal cannot be detected okay so what we cause so we use amplifier this amplifier it will boost reboost the signal it it increase the intensity level okay so basically it amplifies and it, it the sound it will uh, so its energy level is again increased and then it is moved okay so when it is received at the receiver so it is received with the higher uh, energy value with the higher intensity level so this higher intensity level it can be detected by the receiver so the amplifier is used to increase the energy level to increase the intensity to increase the, am, am, uh, the amplitude of the signal okay so attenuation means when the signal energy is reduced intensity is reduced and why it is reduced because when the signal moves through the transmission medium then the transmission has the resistance so some part of the energy intensity is used 
to overcome the resistance to overcome the resistance so some part of energy is lost when some sub part of energy is lost then the signal get weaker when the signal get weaker so if the signal weak get weaker so we can uh, we can reboost we can uh, we can amplify the signal intensity by using a special device that is called amplifier okay so to show the loss or gain of energy okay so basically we use this formula this is the uh, energy loss formula and as you know that the energy it or the power intensity it can be dis uh, described in the decibel unit db okay so this is formula 10 log 10 p 2 p 1 okay so there are this is very simple formula we have different formulas as well okay depending upon the medium each medium has different formula it depending upon the energy the, the signal frequency depend okay so we have different types of it depend even depending upon the um, wavelength okay so we have different uh, formulas but this is a very simple formula okay so i think the attenuation is clear so this is an example okay let's suppose uh, a signal travels through the medium okay uh, suppose a signal travels through a medium a transmission medium and its power is reduced to one half this means that p2 is 1 by 2 p1 okay so in this case the attenuation loss of the power can be calculated as this one for example p2 and p1 so p2 is equal to uh, 1 by 2 of p1 so you can see it so it this so there is minus 3 decibel loss okay so a loss of 3 decibel is equivalent to losing one half of the power okay so similar this is another example okay so uh, we have discussed this uh, one reason that engineer use the decibel to measure the change in the strength of a signal is that decibel numbers can be added or subtracted when we are measuring several points cascading instead of just two so in figure 3.7 a signal tra travels from point 0.1 to point 0.4 in this case the decibel value can be calculated as this one okay so this you can find it through book so this is the example okay so when uh, so therefore when we transmit a signal okay so the length of the medium should be such that the power when when the signal moves from point 0.1 to point 0.4 okay so the if it is transmitted here at 100 decibel it is transmitted at 100 decibel and it, it moves through the medium then it becomes 60 decibel and 60 decibel is not understandable by 0.4 by the receiver then we should we, what we should do we should do either things either we should increase the uh, the, the power intensity value of the sender for example we can increase the energy level up to uh, you know, uh, 120 decibel okay so if there is 40 decibel loss then it will become 80 decibel here at, uh, at the receiving end so the 80 decibel i suppose uh, 70 decibel is understandable okay 70 or above 70 decibel energy it can be understandable by the receiver so it will be understandable or we should reduce the length we should reduce the length or we should use the amplifier to amplify the signal level okay so these are the some examples so you can uh, discuss it through a book so we have discussed that there are three reasons of impairment one was attenuation we discuss it now next is distortion okay so what does distortion means distortion means that the signal change its form or shape the attenuation means when signal energy is reduced and the distortion means that the signal change its form or shape okay distortion occurs in composite signal which is composed of multiple uh, simple signals okay so each frequency component has its own propagation speed traveling through a medium so the different components therefore arrive with different delays so because in a composite signal we have different frequency components and each frequency component had its own propagation speed okay so therefore when different components they travel through different speeds so they may arrive with different delays at the receiver and this is called this causes the distortion 
the attenuation why it is caused the attenuation is caused due to the uh, attenuation it is caused is due to the resistance the attenuation or the loss of energy is caused due to resistance in the medium due to resistance in the medium okay but the distortion it is caused why because it is caused because it, a, a composite signal it has different frequency components and each frequency component it it has its own speeds so therefore different components they may uh, they can arrive at the receiver with different delays and this causes the distortion so distortion is caused why because a composite signal it consists of multiple frequency components in each frequency component it has its own propagation speed so it means that the different components frequency they can arrive with different delay and this causes the distortion so distortion is caused due to different propagation speed of different com frequency components that means that the signal have different phases at the receiver than they did at the source so the signal phases the the, the, the signal which was transmitted by the sender it its phases were different when it is received at the receiver okay for example you can see that this is a composite signal it has three frequency component this one this one and this one its speed is different its speed is distant is different its speed is different okay so this composite signal it is com composed of three frequency component first one second one third one and each has different speed okay this signal when it is transmitted so it the receiver it is received like this one so you can see this this shape is different than this shape this is called distortion and why distortion happens distortion happens or occur because the signal when a composite signal it moves through the medium so the composite signal is con consist of different frequency components in each frequency diff has different speed so maybe this signal is arrived earlier this signal is arrived later this signal is arrived latest then th so it will cause distortion it causes so the shape of this this is the signal that was transmitted by the sender and this is the shape of the signal that is received by you so this shape is different than this one okay so distortion it is caused by due to the different propagation speed of different frequency components components okay so we have discussed the distortion now we are going to discuss another uh, impediment that is called noise okay so what is noise means so there are different types of noise one is called thermal induced crosstalk or impulse Thermal noise means random noise of electronics in the wire creates an extra signal. Okay, when the signal moves through the medium, so the medium has resistance. So some part of energy is used to overcome this. So this this change the signal energy into thermal energy. So the heat is produced. Normally you can see that when uh, when there is a wire, okay, and you plug in into the electricity, so it gets heat up. It get why because some energy is transmitted into thermal energy okay so the thermal energy it is the random noise and this is thermal energy it is also a, a type of uh, energy okay so this thermal energy it is nice the random noise of electronics in the wire creates an extra signal similarly induced from motors and applic and appliances devices act are um, uh, uh, as transmitter uh, antenna and medium as the receiving antenna so this is the transmitter uh, uh, devices act uh, uh, transmitter antenna and, uh, uh, and the medium as the receiving antenna so this is also called uh, this also caused the induced uh, noise okay why similarly the crosstalk same is above but between two wires if between when there are two wires so they also called the uh, noise and this is called crosstalk okay cross Talk. For example, if two persons are speaking, so they are so this is called crosstalk. Impulse spike that results from power lines are lining. Okay, so this is called impulse. Okay. For example, you can see this is the transmission power, and this is the noise. 
so this nice and the transmitter power so it basically interferes okay this, so it, it basically causes this receive signal like this one so you can see that this or uh, the signal and now it is received with this power okay so this is called uh, the noise okay so similarly for example if one person is talking if two persons are if one person is talking then it can be understandable but if two persons are talking one person is talking loudly and another is talking uh, slowly okay so you can see that this slowly person it is also it is nice it is nice so if this slowly person is talking loudly then the uh, then the uh, then the signal uh, then the we cannot understand the both voices okay so similarly the transmission the signal power it should be larger than the noise power okay it should be very larger so that the transmitter signal can be understandable if the ratio between transmitted signal power and the noise power it is less then the the signal it will mix up with the noise and no one then the signal cannot be understandable okay this is called signal to noise ratio so we call signal to noise ratio as i have explained to you that the signal it has its own power and the noise it has its own power okay okay so the signal power it should be higher than the noise power then this signal can be understandable and how much it should be higher so the if the ratio is very large then the signal the, the, can be understandable very easily more easily okay but if the ratio between transmitted power and noise it is very low means that the difference is very low the the signal power is a little bit higher than the noise then we cannot understand the signal you cannot understand the signal similarly if two persons are talking if the teacher is talking and the student is also uh, talking slowly okay so but uh, the student cannot understand uh, the teacher okay if some students they are talking slowly so in the teacher is uh, teaching so the some student will not but if there is if the students start noise uh, loudly then no one can understand the uh, signal okay so this is the same phenomena okay so to measure the quality of a system the snr is often used okay it indicates the strength of the signal with respect to the noise so this snr should be larger it should be larger okay it is the ratio between two power the power of the signal and the power of the noise it is usually given in the decibel and it is referred as snr db so suppose the power of a signal is this 10 mb watts and the power of the noise is 1 micro watts so what are the values of snr this is the value of snr okay so the value of snr and snr delivery for noiseless channel are this one okay we can never achieve this ratio because there is always noise there is always noise okay the noise is never eliminated it cannot be eliminated so there is noise always so we and different uh, in case of different noise we should have we should set the transmission power of the signal such that the SNR is higher, the SNR is audible, the SNR is detectable, SNR is understandable. Okay. So you can see that two cases. For example, this is a signal, and this is so this is its intensity level, and this is its noise level, intensity level. So the difference is this one okay and this signal is lower level and this noise is higher level then you can see this one this is signal plus noise so this will be a little bit understandable but this cannot be understandable it is mixing with the noise so you oh, it, is, it is mixing with the noise okay so we have discussed the chapter number three it is finished okay so in this uh, class we have discussed the uh, uh, impediments three types of impediments three types of impediments they are discussed uh, attenuation distortion and noise first of all what is impediment when the signal moves from sender to receiver okay it change the signal change this change is called impediment and what is what is change one type is called attenuation the signal energy is reduced 
signature energy is reduced this is called attenuation and why it is reduced because when the signal moves through the medium then the medium has resistance so some part of the energy is used to overcome the energy second is called distortion distortion means when the signal shape is changed and why it is changed because a composite signal it consists of different frequency components so when it moves through the medium okay so different frequency components have different speeds so it arrives so therefore the it causes distortion and third is noise noise means that there is external uh, signals okay and this is called this causes the noise with the transmitted signal okay so we have discussed this i think it is finished okay